Hi everyone, my name is Christian and today I'm going to show you how to take your conductivity testing on your water quality monitoring days. You get down to the water, you need to make sure you have all the equipment you need, which is a yogurt container and your conductivity pen. There's two different conductivity pens that a volunteer might have. You might have our EC tester or you might have our Oakton pens. So before you get down to the water, make sure you know which kind of pen you have and make sure you know the instructions on how to use each pen. I'm going to show you how to use both today. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your pen is functioning. To do this, you're going to press the on button. And to get a successful reading, you need to make sure that before you put your pen in the water, that it reads zero microsiemens. This also happens on the Oakton pen. There's a power button, you press it on, and it takes a second, and you'll see a reading of 0.0, .0 microsiemens. If you have the EC tester pen, you can do it two ways. You can enter the water, and in the same location where you took your E. coli test, you can place the pen in the water and wait for the reading to stabilize. This can take a while sometimes though, so I find it best to bring a yogurt container, to fill the yogurt container with water, then bring it to shore and do your reading on shore. So I'm gonna show you that now. So here I am in the water. I'm gonna take a sample in the same way I take my E. coli sample. I'm gonna place my yogurt container in the water about eight inches deep, fill it with water, and then bring it back to shore. Here I have my water sample. My pen is on with the zero micro siemens reading. So I'm gonna place my pen in the water. So just the um, top of the pen that gets the reading is submerged in the water. And I'm gonna let it stabilize. Since the water isn't moving here, it'll stabilize faster than doing it in the river. So you can tell right away that this reading is uh, staying consistent at about 150 micro siemens. So I'm gonna hold it in there for a few more seconds just to make sure that that is the actual reading. And look at that, it went up one more uh, notch to 160 micro siemens. So that's exactly why you wanna keep it in there for a while. All right, and I feel pretty good about that. If it's a nice day, you can hold in for a little bit longer just to make sure, but that's the process to use the EC tester pen. The Oakton pen is a little bit different. To fill this, you have to use the cap. The cap has a fill line on it, so I'm gonna enter the water just like I did to fill the yogurt container and fill this cap with river water. So here I am back in the water in the same spot that I've done all my E. coli and turbidity testing. I'm going to take the cap and submerge it to fill it with water. It's going to be overfilled to the fill line, so I'm going to dump out the extra water until I get right to the fill line. And now that I have the cap filled to the fill line and I'm back on shore, I'm going to make sure that my te tester is all set with the 0.0, .0 micro siemens reading. I'm going to place it inside the cap. And now I'm going to let it sit and slowly get its reading. This pen especially can take a while to get the correct reading, so sometimes what I like to do when I'm sampling is to get this set and getting up to the correct reading and I'll place it in a sturdy position to make sure it won't fall down and I'll let this stabilize while I go do my coli testing and my turbidity testing.